Good morning, Falcons. I'm Ethan. Hope you've had a great weekend. Denvi, thank you for tuning in to SHS TV. With vaccine availability going up, our reporters have found out more about eligibility and reacting to the vaccine. Currently in the state of California, you have to be 16 years or older to be eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. We talked to some of our students to see what their vaccination experience was like. It's actually pretty um, competitive, I guess. There's not that many spaces. Um, so basically you go to a website and then you put in all your information and yeah, and then it, you get an appointment. I got my COVID shot since last Tuesday and so after I got it, I felt pretty good, but my arm, when I got the shot when I left, it started getting, you know, a little sore, but on Wednesday, it started to get much worse, but the soreness was starting to go away a little bit more. So I got the Moderna vaccine, the first one on March 2nd and the second one on March 31st. So after the first one, I felt pretty okay. My arm was just a little bit sore. After the second one, um, I was just kind of tired and I just felt a little bit icky. Now knowing that I'm like vaccinated, I guess, gives me a little bit more of a peace of mind. Even though the vaccine opportunities has opened up recently. There are still strict COVID guidelines in place by the county. Time be Nathan. Let's see how our musical, The Adams Family, has been functioning in these tough times. This year we're performing The Adams Family. It's a production about this kind of be weird, considered not normal family. And I play the role of Wednesday Adams, which is the daughter. So my fiance and his normal family are coming over to our house for dinner. And the story is kind of just about how our families meet and learn to um, reconcile with their differences. With COVID, everything has been online. So we started out the process completely virtual over Zoom. We had all our dance rehearsals, uh, vocal rehearsals online. And then only recently, we were able to start coming to school to do uh, filming. So we've been filming the entire show scene by scene. And so everything's going to be online. So we definitely got less in-person, um, kind of collaborative spirit this year, but I think we were able to work around that. Hey, Tanvi, have you ever wanted to learn how the stock market works without like using real money? I never knew how to start. Mr. Davey and his students have recently embarked on their own simulation of the stock market. We're doing a unit on personal finance, which is, you know, credit card you know, investing is part of that unit. Uh, so um, the students are required, they're, they're given 100,000 mock dollars, required to put three months in an emergency fund, which is what we talk about in budgeting. So they've set aside, I don't know, say 30,000 of it. The rest of it, they're investing uh, for the future. So it's, we're not day trading, we're, we're investing how you would. We all got to choose a partner for life um, that we're kind of investing with, and we get to invest based upon our chosen jobs. I bought like Lululemon in the simulation, just, for, just I don't even know. That's dumb. I, I, I invested in some high risk things that could go up pretty fast, I guess, um, or crash pretty fast. And knowing that you know it doesn't really matter if you lose money in this thing. So it's it's about ways to diversify, ways to manage your money and make it grow and prepare for retirement. So it's part of a, it's just a small part of a, a big unit on, on personal finance. Hey, Tommy, make sure you complete the phase 4A commitment survey due Tuesday, April 27th. Of course, but I'm a little confused about what 4A will be like. Don't worry. Our reporters found out more about phase 4A details, including lots on Wednesday advisories going away. Phase 4A, starting May 3rd, any family who would like to be here five days a week will now have the opportunity to. So if everyone who was here for two days a week decides to stay, then we would have 500. But we'll have to figure out in the next week or so how many more families, or even possibly less, will want to be here for five days a week. We just have to ask our families. Right. This school year, between May 3rd and graduation on June, is graduation June 3rd or June 4th? June 3rd, June 3rd. Yeah, May 3rd to June 3rd, so one month. So when we have less positive cases of COVID, there are less restrictions on educational settings and community settings just in Saratoga in general. And so we're allowed to have um, 
more mixing of students in the school, as long as we're following safety procedures. For example, we all still have to wear a mask. We all still have to be a minimum of three feet apart within the classroom. And so those are all things we can't eat and drink inside of a classroom because it requires us to take our masks off and then expose airborne um, COVID potential. So we still have to eat outside, not inside. And um, I just, not only myself, but the rest of the administrative team was so proud to be a Falcon and be part of our community where we have students who can articulate their thoughts in a respectful yet persuasive way and that's it for today this is tempi signing off and i'm ethan thanks for tuning in and we will catch you next time